Hey guys, Joel, ImportSauce.com. Today, we are going to try to fix this fan that will not turn off on our XC60. Okay, so about two days ago, we were hearing some kind of relay clicking and clacking action. I don't know. Um, and then yesterday, our uh, we lost control on our climate control unit. So as you can see, the car is off and the fan is blowing. I'll show you the symptoms that we had. Okay, so car is on. And let's go ahead and... Oops. Okay, so you can see here, uh, oh my goodness, get out of here. Okay, so uh, all of our other functions seem to be working, and we'll just confirm that uh, up on there, right? So this unit, sometimes when it glitches, it could be certain things. We had a similar problem on the XC90, where this knob would just do nothing, right? So we can see the knob. Turn it all the way down. Fan's still going at the same speed, right? We can, however, change. Let's go ahead and mess around with these, right? We can say, let's go ahead and give us the center. And that works. Let's turn that off and just go straight to the head. And it changes, so the uh, position motor is working fine. We are getting ice cold AC. If we turn that off, we feel the compressor disengage. We can turn on uh, electric uh, defroster. We can go to max, which will engage the AC. Cold air again. Let's check out the seat heaters. All work steering wheel heater relay kicks on so everything on here and especially if we go through the radio too right if we zoom back we can see our stations are changing everything is working perfect except for our fan speed right so the unit is clocking the speed that we're trying to set but the actual blower is not changing whatsoever. And then we go ahead and turn the car off, open the door to kill the battery, and it will not stop. So, um, we found a write up on uh, Matthews. It was for an S60, but similar, right? And what they're saying is the resistor. So uh, what we're gonna try to do is swap that out and uh, see if that uh, solves our problem. Okay, so the instructions for the XC or the uh, S60 were uh, a little bit more involved and I think we're gonna get lucky here. Um, they, uh, step one involved taking off this, this kick panel. That's easy, it's just these standard kind of push clips. Pry that out, get it out of the way. For the uh, S60, the next step that they had was to remove the gas pedal, which is also the instructions for the S40 for doing the cabin filter and all these. And I found that I can actually do that and squeeze everything together without removing that. We did, however, bring a set of uh, millimeter sockets out here. But when I look at the resistor here, can see it's a four prong uh, plug it's gonna be pretty large um, and when I pull back the carpet uh, I don't know if we can see it in the camera but eh, it's pretty dark um, it is right up 
uh, there visible um, in that kind of dark pocket dead center. Um, so I'm going to try to pull the wire harness and pull this out. Uh, instructions, we can kind of look for pulling it out. You can see that there are four tabs, one, two, three, four. And on there it has our clockwise um, movement to lock. So I'm assuming we're just gonna go a little counterclockwise and hopefully there's enough room to pull that out. So I'm gonna get the light in there and see if we can get you an angle. Okay, so we have the flashlight. We can see the cabin uh, air filter door. And then we can see the wire harness right back there. Let's see if we can zoom with that yellow, purple, the four. And we can see, uh, pull this carpet back a little. We can kind of see the shape of it there. Um, so I'm just going to reach up and try and hopefully we don't have to pull the pedal. If not, it's going to be uh, three 10 mils uh, that get this gas pedal assembly off. Okay, so we weren't so lucky. Uh, we probably could have fished it out, but um, gas pedal, one, two, three, 10 millimeters. All we had to do was use a deep socket because uh, the bolts are, are fairly long there um, and get that out. And now we can see, let's see how much room we have in there. All right, now we have a straight shot to, where are you? There you are right there. So we're gonna get that wire harness off and uh, then uh, go from there. Okay, so the wire harness is off. It has uh, those two little uh, guys right there in the corner, beep. And the other side, just kind of pinch those and it slid right out. So now we're gonna reach up in there and the orientation that we have of the unit in there is uh, pretty much like that. So we're gonna try to go, um, right? If you look at the tab, it has a little end, which means it turns this way to lock. So we're gonna go counterclockwise. We only have to go theoretically the distance of that little clip there. Uh, and let's see if we can get that out. Okay, here's one note. Since the uh, resistor is unplugged from the wire harness, and then we put our battery back on no fan is running so we know that in some part that resistor did control the blower motor we're having a bit of a problem squeezing this thing out but uh just like in the s60 right up you can see right uh here is some foam like uh kind of this stuff here right it's just uh it's foam with a rubber lining up there. It's really tight. So what they said is uh, cut a little chunk of that out and give you some room to squeeze. We can see the end of the part, but we can see it, uh, or the end of the part here, buttoned up against the rubber there. So um, we're trying to kind of wiggle that out and we'll let you know what the best, uh, best method was. Okay, so cut a little bit of that foam out back there and it goes into that pocket, but what we realized is the bracket gets so close, right where you see the wire harness, the bracket gets so close uh, to the uh, air box. So we actually just slid the part all the way up to where the bracket, gas pedal bracket tapers, and then we can slide it out up there. So we're trying to pull it through that tight little spot uh, there, and uh, that wasn't working. So that's how we did it. A little bit of foam removal to give us some room and then slide that guy up and then we'll pull it out. Okay, so we have both, uh, got that out. Uh, when it was jammed up in there, there wasn't enough room to get your fingers and kind of turn it. So in our toolbox, we found, uh, I didn't make this, but I somehow acquired it, a uh, half inch and it was the perfect size to kind of just slip and then get that thing to turn over. Um, and then while trying to pull it out, we uh, did a little damage on there, but no big deal. So take a look, uh, I don't know, it looks dirty, but you know, most of the failures are gonna be inside here. Um, so we're gonna, uh, that bend right there, we can see that bottom corner is probably with us being rough getting it out. So we're gonna be a little more gentle uh, sticking this one in, but essentially we're gonna 
uh, slide that thing back in, slide it up and in, and then try to get it seated, boop, like that, and then slide the harness back in. Oh, and side note, since we're looking at it, uh, this is the foam here that we removed, right? So it has the uh, kind of this uh, rubber uh, facing on it, and on the back it's just kind of this. So we didn't have to take too much material out. Essentially, we just kind of did a little slicing with the razor and grabbed a couple chunks to give us some room. I mean, you could push back against this, but I mean, as you saw, the space is pretty dang limited in there. Okay, about 45 minutes later. I don't even know if you can see it. Yeah, it's up there. It's in. Uh, a lot of upside down work. A lot of uh, stretching, figuring it out. No tips or tricks, but we did do a test on this. And no fan. So gonna put the gas pedal back on and uh, fire this up. Okay, we are back. Everything's back together. Gas pedal, let's see. Yep. That works. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh. That's it, baby. Climate control, fan, blower, resistor, part number, whatever is overlaying on the screen. Oh man, that install was tough. It uh, was reminiscent of the six speed swap we did on the S40, where you are upside down underneath a wheel well with no visibility, no room, dizzy, dark, physically sick to your stomach from just contorting yourself in so many ways so uh anyways uh we got it fixed everything's working great and uh that part 80 bucks hope that helps